Welcome Crypt TV Nation uh, for another Crypt TV iRacing tips. This combo we are at Donington with McLaren and we are doing iRacing tips, uh, Crypt TV iRacing tips for uh, the GT3 series, series race for this week. This was uh, requested by hashtag Crypt TV iRacing tips and from Pran Reniers. So if you Pram are there, you will see it now or if you are not, uh, you will see it from the YouTube. Okay, so I don't have uh, much of experience from McLaren, at least on this track, but uh, I will do my best. And uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm trying to do at least two consecutive clean laps, trying to do my best, trying to take uh, the uh, corners the best way I see to take them and then after that we will go to the replay mode and uh, review the laps from the chase view and in slow motion so let's get this party started oh that's a wrong one wrong button in there remember guys first time me streaming today <coughs> Oh, Kurt Curtis is in here. Couldn't see what he was saying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Out lap. So I'm using a forum setup. I have uh, 30 liters of fuel. So it's not a. Uh, well, it's a sort of a qualification. Qualification fuel. But uh, definitely not a race fuel because this is 75, mi 75 minutes race. So you better start with the full tank, in my opinion. Okay, let's get warmed up, warm up, and get this outlap down. Oh, and we got a new donation uh, from Eric uh, to 2397. Thanks for the tro pro tips. I thank you, Eric, for your donation. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you guys. I highly appreciate it. Okay. Uh, there are lots of blind corners in this track, so getting um, the turns correct just it requires a lot of practice. Okay, let's start the first lap. Here we go. Oh. Down the third gear. I think a second gear is too low in this corner because McLaren can it has a low end, end uh, torque so it can easily take that corner in third gear. Just full throttle until at this point third gear and I think you can actually take take that corner in fourth gear too. Then in here, down the third gear, you have to be very fluid in, in this corner. Blind corner, third gear, and uh, I overshoot the corner. <laughs> so in that corner you just have to guess or you have to get it from the practice where is a good breaking point. Third gear, third gear is uh, enough in here, uh, second gear is too low in my opinion. First gear, maybe a little bit too low. I was uh, too inside in that corner. Second gear, There's our first lap. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate on a good lap now.
daisy. I took that corner with Ford here and it was faster that way. Okay, one more lap. And still finding some extra time. And uh, I will assume that uh, these lines do work for the other GT3 cars too. Uh, not sh not sure about the gearing, as that might be a little bit different. There we go. Uh, three tents in there. <laughs> also, it's uh, sometimes it's very hard for me to see the apexes because I have a single screen. But uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, sorry Curtis, just noticed your message, but uh, yeah. Oh, save it. There we go, and then I'm gonna, gonna save the replay and let's go for the replay mode. So, let's do the first lap, first flying lap uh, on the chase view. So, on the main street, just go to the uh, outside of the track right away. In here, you can uh, cut a little bit uh, the pit entry or pit exit, but be careful if there is someone exiting the pits. Uh, third gear, I use third gear in there, and then just throttle. Uh, you might, you can take that full throttle. Uh, in here, I downshifted down the third gear, but uh, you can take it or also in fourth gear with this car. Third gear in here again. You can uh, cut the curb quite a lot in there. Just be careful not to get the incident off track from there. Uh, blind corner. It's very hard to uh, adjust for that corner uh, without uh, that much of experience as you see I as you saw I overshoot the corner in here third gear through the chicane riding the curbs in there and in here downshift I downshifted the first gear it seems that the first gear is too low so second gear might be a better one and here second gear is enough I think uh, first gear is too low and uh, yeah let's use the slow motion now 
so in here if you got too much in here you will get an off track but you can cut this uh, pit exit exit area in here to get a little bit better entry for the corner downshift down the third gear and then you can cut the curb in here it doesn't uh, doesn't make your car that much of uh, unstable but uh, this is very tight turn so be sure to uh, reduce your speed so that you can make the turn then this uh, next complex should be full throttle in here I have to lift a little bit because the car was not turning for me as you can see I had to lift a little bit to make it turn as I'm trying to aim in here then I'm just uh, braking this time I'm using the fourth gear I'm braking and aligning aligning myself to the uh, entry so that I actually I'm actually keeping my eyes in here already on the uh, on the exit so I'm keeping my eyes in here you can uh, make this corner quite fast and I said as I said I used Ford gear in there then just uh, cut the curves in here you want to uh, take the shortest way around the track and in here try to align yourself so that you will get a good entry for the next corner so you can uh, for example you can use uh, this uh, marker in here aim for that when you are braking and then when it's approaching you start to turn in and here again you can uh, cut the curb quite a lot but uh, if you get too much you will get a uh, at least enough track from there and uh, make sure to use uh, all the asphalt on the exit as you can then this is tricky part uh, no brake markers in here sadly so you just have to guess or try, yeah you just have to guess or estimate and in here you can also cut a little bit curb in here but not too much uh, do not accelerate right away because otherwise you will push it because of the weight transfer just uh, as looking from my inputs in here I'm just I'm just coasting and when the car starts to turn in then I just uh, hit the gas so it's uh, important to get this uh, car turning into the uh, apex first before you go on the gas and here uh, you can uh, take this search uh, again quite fast too I downshift uh, down the third gear I saw Matt using uh, second gear in here uh, with the rough uh, I'm not sure but uh, I I could think that he could take it uh, with the third gear with the rough even but uh, yeah this is just uh, just uh, aim for these balls but uh, don't aim straight on them just try to aim that your left tire goes there and then your right tire goes from there and uh, when I am actually in this position I have my eyes in here already then up to fifth gear and this time using second gear in here which uh, felt much more better but this is a tricky corner too because you are uh, breaking the downhill so it's very hard to estimate how much you have to break and also this is a very tight corner as you can as, as you can see it's like a, it's tight turn then it's a little bit uh, less tight and then it gets tight again so it's uh, pretty much uh, like a quick double apex corner in here don't try to keep your car too much to the inside of, uh, of the track and in here 
I'm uh, using uh, this as a breaking point. So somewhere, oh well, just uh, a little bit uh, after the curve starts, I'm uh, starting to break in a straight line. I'm not trying to aim there because uh, it's uh, hard to do that if you aim your breaking in there. Just keep it straight line. And uh, when you can see this apex in here, or this curve in here, start to turning. Maybe I was a little bit too early in here. But uh, yeah, I think on um, the um, middle of the corner is a good apex in there. This one. There we go. Yeah, that's true, Curtis. Uh, you can uh, go through the balls, but uh, yeah, whichever you like. 